Hello everyone, this is Lim AK here, and I'm playing a little bit of Stalker Call of Pripyat. This is actually the complete mod for Pripyat, and the complete mods were actually released for every single one of the uh, Stalker games, and is definitely one of the best mods, and a definite must-have if you actually want to play any of these games. But the reason I'm doing this particular video is because recently GSC World, the developer of the Stalker franchise, was closed down, and Honestly, it's a little bit sad because Stalker is probably one of the most interesting first-person shooters released in recent memory. And, you know, when I say interesting, I also mean really, really good. And so I think that it was appropriate to actually do a video on this. And I'm just going to start a new game. Yeah, so... Also, generally, if you're playing Stalker, you should start with... Um, Chernobyl, not Pripyat, and just, you could probably skip Clear Sky, it's fun enough, but, um, Chernobyl is probably the best showing of it, and the others pretty much add nice refinements on top of that basic formula. But if it'll load here... Yeah. I will show you the beginning of the game, which, honestly, I don't remember it that much. I don't remember how this game starts. At 0123 on April 26, 1986, the reactor of Power Block 4 of Chernobyl NPP is destroyed following a series of thermal explosions. The resulting radioactive cloud moves across the European part of the USSR, Eastern Europe and Scandinavia, eventually reaching America. The consequences of the disaster are so serious that the government is forced to begin evacuating the residents of nearby towns and villages. A 30 kilometer exclusion zone is created to stop residents from returning to the contaminated area. Despite the disaster, the Chernobyl NPP continues to operate. The existence of a power station as well as the fact that the area is no longer inhabited, leads the Council of Ministers of the USSR to set up a network of secret laboratories in the exclusion zone. June 11, 2006. The exclusion zone lights up with a flash of blinding light as clouds can be seen evaporating in the sky. After a moment of complete silence, a peal of thunder shakes the ground. Most of the government forces guarding the perimeter are killed instantly. 2008. Scientists are still unable to explain what happened. Rare expeditions into the zone usually end in tragedy, with survivors telling stories of mutated animals with incredible abilities roaming the area. According to various estimates, by 2010, the zone is home to between one and 300 unknown individuals. They call themselves stalkers and make their living by collecting anomalous formations known as artifacts, which they sell for considerable sums of money. 2011, despite military cordons, the stalker phenomenon is growing in numbers. However, stalkers travel primarily around the zone's edges, with the center remaining terra incognita. The few attempts to penetrate deeper into the zone have all ended in failure. 2012, a stalker called Straylock solves the secret of the brain scorcher, a man-made emitter that had blocked the way to the center of the zone for years. After the brain scorcher is disabled, 
All stalkers rush for the center of the zone. Some in hopes of finding a treasure trove of artifacts. Others in search of the wish granter. The government decides to launch a large-scale military operation. Operation Fairway, as it came to be known, involves using maps of anomaly fields to maneuver helicopters to the CNPP. Despite meticulous preparation, the operation is a failure, and none of the helicopters return from the mission. Major Dektyrov, a USS special agent, is sent into the zone to investigate the disappearance of the helicopters. Disguised as a stalker, equipped with a regular assault rifle, two weeks' worth of supplies, and a radio to communicate with HQ, the Major begins his journey towards the center of the zone. Okay, now I remember how this game starts. Right, that was the intro cutscene, and should we jump straight into it? So, here is Stalker. I have a gun here with iron sights. And a giant open field in which to do things, and a tiny single objective arrow. And my game hung up there for a moment. Not sure why, but it doesn't matter. So, right. I have an inventory screen with a hell lot of equipment and food, grenades, which I don't use. I think grenades are crap. Um, I have my health meter here. I can put artifacts in these slots, which, you know, a couple of good ones that are worth having. If armor and everything you have basically has some sort of condition rating attached to it, which is here. And the worse condition they are, the more likely and prone they are to jamming. But if I open the... Right now. I'm sure there's a map button here somewhere. PDA, right. Aha! So here's why Stalker is really cool. Because it is a more or less, like, fairly open game. So this is the entire, this is just one area that I can explore right now. And it'll eventually open up beyond this. But I can pretty much just wander off and just do whatever. And there should be a way to holster my gun. Yeah, right. Press on the weapon key. There's no reason to have it out right now. Слушай. I can just talk to people. I don't need him to lead me anywhere. And you can trade with random passerbys, but honestly, he doesn't have much. You're better off trading with an actual store. They'd also give you better prices, Привет, generally. Если нужно что, спрашивай у главного. Just another random stalker, I don't care. So, he pointed me to this place here, which is a safe spot in the area. I'm going to try and hurry it up here, because... Honestly, I probably should have skipped that intro cutscene, but I think it's a cool cutscene that definitely sets the tone of what this is. Is the first area in the game. Listen up. Sultan wants to see you. The man him. Yeah. 
see you. If you so he wants to me stay to do some. Piece, is... Hello. Yeah, yada yada. Something weird. But yeah, just random quests in the world. So, I suppose in some ways it's kind of like Skyrim, which is really weird comparison to make, but it's kind of apt, and... Anyway. Right. Pop in if you find any artifacts, and we'll see what we can do. Which guy was I supposed to talk to? Knuckles, right. Okay, good, some combat. Um, right, this is the game at night, and it looks really, really dark. So, if I remember what... Yeah, there we go. A flashlight. What's going on? Take our chill pill, man. So you take them easy. These guys are trying to rob them, so I'm just gonna murder them as soon as my buddies are made aware of their location. Oh, I'm also quite hungry, apparently. Food and sustenance also important. <laughs> First of all, get some food. Right, that's better. Also, also important, holster your weapons, because it's impolite to point guns at people's faces, generally speaking. And look! Ah, excellent, I think that's quite good. We got the baskets. Thanks for your help. Oh, that is sweet. I believe that's a better detector. So this thing I'm now holding is a detector which can be used to find artifacts, but I'm pretty sure I'm nowhere near some, but... Right now. Oh. Right, I think that's all the bodies around. And let's make my way back indoors. Actually. There you go. I get a bunch of equipment for helping them out. Yay! Anyway, I just think this game is rad. It's a massive open... Well, not entirely open world, but pretty open first-person shooter that has bunches of side quests to do and wild dogs they try to kill you and also it's kind of cool like watching out for things like ammunition weapon degrade ability okay that guy's a bandit so i'm gonna walk around them so Hopefully, they won't shoot me if I don't go near them. Well, honestly, I want to make it indoors. But being outside at night when you don't have anything is pretty bad. But I think that's pretty much all the time I have here. And again, it's sad to see GSC go. I would have really loved to see what they could do with another soccer game and have wild boars attack me in the middle of the night. But anyway, this is the Cave. Thanks for watching, guys. See ya.